Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita 1.0. We are jumping in again for another run. This time we're going to go with the SMG Flashlight and Constellation. We unlocked a lot in the last episode. We played a mega cursed run. We didn't unfortunately win. So we're still going on the shards. But this time we do have some new things here. We have upgrade. We can get a relic hammer here. We can get the friendly doll. Increased luck and a chance to find HP pickups. And we can get the knight's helmet. Okay. I think we should take both of these. And go into a run with a bunch of tickets on. So this will reduce our maximum HP down to three, as you can see. A cursed choice. Awesome. Uh, we're going to take the broken chains. And let's check what our items do. So flashlight makes secret rooms more clear. I've had this one before. It's a very useful item. Uh, we've got friendly doll. That's great for the HP drops and armor drops here as well. And the constellation. Observancy runes give you a choice between multiple celestial weapons. That's super good. And we've got the SMG this time as well, which I don't like the SMG that much just because it's quite, quite weak. But it does, do you know what? It does maybe seem to have gotten a fire rate boost. I can't say for sure, but it feels a little faster. We've also already got a jammed enemy here. I'm going to keep calling them jammed even though that doesn't exist in this game. Really should be checking the secret rooms before killing everything. Did he get some damage up there? More damage up the better because, like I said, this gun starts a little bit weak. Oh god, that, that. That bouncy boy just wrecked me. Oh, God. I'm just looking for secret rooms. Leave me be. I don't think there is a secret room in this room. Okay, we got the multiple waves as well. Careful for that. Good, good. We're getting a lot of soul here. And then we get ourselves even more damage. Good, 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 good. We got ourselves this here as well, which is... Shrine of Greed. Yes, please. I don't know what that gave me. Um, I don't know what that gave me. <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, take out this guy. Got a nice chest. I don't, maybe, maybe that greed in, uh, is the reason this showed up. More damage. Nice. This is great. It's a lot of damage. I'll try and go B floor again if I can. But it's not going to happen every time. I will warn. Right. We got... Ooh. 100%. I don't even care what else is available. I'm taking that. Accuracy on this weapon is terrible. So getting accuracy up is, is really useful. The accuracy on the SMG is not good. Okay. There's our first secret room. Beautiful. We're killing stuff very quickly now. Very, very quickly indeed. But yes, how are you guys enjoying the Revita content so far? I'm still absolutely loving it. Like I said, I'm hoping this game gets a lot of traction on the channel because I really want to play this on the channel a lot more. Of course, I'm always, I always like just playing what you guys want me to play, but also trying to play stuff that people are enjoying at the same time. So it's kind of, it's a balancing act. I'll look for our other hive here if we can. There's our first celestial weapon, and we'll get a choice of celestial weapons, remember? We've got a key here. Unfortunately, we don't have an additional key. It would be nice to have another one for uh, our chest room, but I'd rather get a celestial weapon early. And we get the choice between shield and sword. I'm going to go for the sword because it deals damage and it gave us a heart, which I think is pretty important for us right now. We still have yet to find a shield so far. Oh, God. That, these, these poison dudes jump a lot further than I remember them jumping. But yeah, now we can swipe away bullets, which is really nice. Check this out. Shop, shop, or what do you sell? Oh, we got three things for sale here. Um, ooh, the Tesla was really good last time. Do you know what? I'm gonna go ham here, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna buy absolutely everything you have for sale, sir. I'm clearing you out because now, yes, with the dumbbell, I think this is pretty good, and it, it is the slower shot speed. Plus, uh, the, the weighted shots is a very good combo here. Got a metro ticket. Got that. And we can heal at once. Here's our hive here. We have this... I don't... It's only half a heart, actually. Oh, it's a cursed one. I'll definitely have a cursed one because it costs us no HP. And we have cursed choice now, remember, as well. Enemies might spawn with a protective shield. I'd rather go with that. And then what we got here? Doctor's Mask. Deal more damage to enemies that are at full HP. Not super useful, but definitely pretty good. This is a good run so far. 
still finding these statues that I don't really know what they mean. I'm sure they're related to some sort of secret. They, if, they, if it's anything new, knowing this game is a secret. That's, that's just the way I'm dealing with everything at the minute. Right, so just remember our our sword can destroy shots, so if we need to use that utilize that, we can. And it also deals a good amount of damage too, so try and keep an eye on that too. Right, we're doing a good amount of damage here. Trying to use the sword when I can, but not like overdo it. That was close. There you go, we got the flawless. I, I go real quiet on the boss because I'm just like, denial, I need his memento. I need it. And we got ourselves another HP up. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know if I've got anything that I particularly want to upgrade right now. I'm not sure. Well, let's just head on in. Oh, I forgot to break my hive. It's okay. We didn't need to go to the B floor. I would have liked to, but... Um... I... Hmm. I think now we've already got our Celestial Light, I'm going to trash Constellation. I know it seems a little early to trash something like, like that. But I think if we go like... Yeah, I'm going to go Friendly Doll here. Do you know what? Let's go two from Friendly Doll. Extra chance for HP drops just sounds too good to, to pass up. And at the minute, we're going to the this floor. So this the Fungal floor is not too hard. Definitely not as hard as the B floor. So we shouldn't have too big of an issue. Oh, this guy's got the shields look. Careful the enemies with the shields. Okay, there is a frog in this room. The frogs do have a secret to do with them, so I'll try and not disturb him. If you can like if you don't fire when you're near the frog, you can get a secret. Oh no, I fired apparently I fired near him. Must have been at the very start of the room. Shame. I love this. <laughs> the weighted shots here are great. It's just an absolute, like, rain. Like a hellfire from above. It's beautiful. Grab that. I've not been finding secret rooms too easily at the minute. I keep accidentally tabbing out as well. Whoopsie. Ah, oh, I don't have a key. That's actually fine, because honestly, I don't really want to be trading away HP right now. When this was coming up. Let's steal weapons, get an additional charge bonus upon defeating an enemy. Your bullets have a chance to inflict bleed. Uh, okay, I don't want any of that. I'd rather take the Chaos Chest. When I've got Chaos Choices, I'm a little more... A little more okay with taking the Chaos Chests. Okay, I think that's second secret room there. It is not. <laughs> we got another one of these, though. Kind of greed. Right. None of my stats changed. My multiplier didn't change. I don't know what it does. <laughs> it's very hard to figure out. Right. Keep an eye on this guy. I see your shield there, sir. And I see your shield. Okay. Fully heal here. Almost got another heart container in the in the bank. Still no key. We've been doing really well on keys recently, but now not so much. Ow, that guy walked right into me. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I love the dumbbell. It's such a fun item. Just having your uh, having your shots arc. You'd think it'd be a, like somewhat of a downside, not being able to directly aim at enemies, but I love it. Right, let's quickly check the secret rooms here. Unfortunately, this guy's right in the way of the wall, so I can't actually check this one for secret rooms. Doesn't look like there was one anyways. 
and even more damage. The damage has gotten pretty, pretty out of control already. Considering we started, I think it's minus 35, I think it is. Care of you. I'm just gonna heal up real quick so I don't waste any soul. Oh, secret room's just here. I see it. I see you there. And another heart. Beautiful. Hey, mini chest. Lovely. I don't know if you can get mim mimics of those mini chests. You probably can, right? This game seems like it could just fuck you over a lot, so. Why not in that variety, too? Okay, all of these guys have shields. Let's be careful of them. Good, good. More crystals there. And we're on to the boss already. Wow. This guy really shouldn't be too difficult for us, though, with the sword and stuff. We should kill him pretty quick. I'm hoping we can flawless him. What's this? Um, Let's go with that. Get some soul back when buying something from a shop, uh, paying with HP. Amount six. I don't... Six what? Just six souls, I guess? That's still pretty good. Seems if you if you upgraded that, it'd be very strong, actually. He's corrupted, so I want to kill him as quick as possible. And again. We're probably going to get quite a lot of corrupted enemies, because we're taking more curse than usual, but should be okay. That, yeah, that was fucked up, dude. He spawned an enemy literally on me. That was messed up anger. I was going for the flawless and everything, and you hit me with one of those. I should have just swiped him with a sword, but I didn't really have time to think about it. He's been a bit of a bit of an annoyance right now. He's getting really up close and personal. Do you know what? I'm hoping we can get this run. Stapler again for more piercing. That was so good last time. So, so good. Beautiful. More keys and the like. And then we've almost got another heart filled up. Did I get any items I want to trash this time around? I don't know. Let's have a look-see. Um, I, I kind of think I want to keep everything I have. Honestly, there's nothing I really want to upgrade either, so I'm just going to carry on. I'd rather keep the, the high-ish HP I have right now. Okay, yeah, as you can see, decent amount of uh, jammed enemies here. Try and get all that soul. The good thing is we can kind of just sit on high with our dumbbell and, like, launch from above, up and over everything. Another heart container, beautiful. Secret room is here. More damage. Better, very nice. The damage I don't really consider, but it does add up. Ooh, I just realized we've got a thingy machine here. Oh, he got away. No way. I, I wasted HP on you. He did give us some good damage up there. Oh, we got a half heart out at the end of the room anyways. And a new NPC. Beautiful. Okay. Gotta check it. I think they don't. when there's a door in the room, it doesn't work anyways. Who are we going to get this time? And then we've got five or six NPCs that I know of to unlock yet. Oh, this one's good. This one's like a gambling room. You can imagine how annoying it was being stuck in there, just floating around waiting. Especially knowing all that excitement was out here. If you fancy a game of chance, come pay me a visit. Nice. Yeah. She'll basically set up shop every now and again and let us gamble. But yeah, I can just like stand back here and just like hit everything. <laughs> it's great. I do have to obviously be careful to make sure I try and get the soul. I don't just want to leave the soul about. But to be fair, I think I'm doing a decent job of that, though. There's another secret room. Beautiful. Hey, more armor. Love it. Health is looking real nice right now. We can even afford to trade right now. Deal damage to all enemies on taking damage based on the damage dealt to you. Increase fire rate. Uh, key pickups are doubled. You get one key. Enemies freeze around... Enemies freeze surrounding enemies on death. That sounds really good. Critical hits have a much higher chance of occurring. Whoa. 
risky as shit, but I'm taking it. 50% crit- is that legitimately 50% critical hit chance? Wow. That's nuts. Even for all the HP we just lost, that's so worth it. Yeah. That's a lot more damage. And they do burn us 50% damage. That's a lot more damage. Beautiful. It's going to take us a little while to recuperate, I'll admit. But I think it's more than worth it, actually. Especially for bossing. Another Chaos Chest. As long as I don't have to trade HP away, I'm down. Oh, beautiful. Um... I'm going to take that. Increase fire rate. Hell yes. That's beautiful. That's why I didn't want to take the fire rate multiplier down. Trading, getting less fire rate to get more fire rate seems like a really weird idea. Hey, our first challenge room. These are very useful. These are literally as they sound. They're rooms that uh, propose a challenge. Uh, defeat all enemies. Okay, that one's fine. We can get hit in this one. Some of them you can't get hit on, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and if we defeat all the enemies, we get a good chunk of soul and some other rewards. But we don't get any soul from the enemies we kill. Beautiful, beautiful. As long as we're getting more and more armor, we are sitting pretty, I think. Secret room's just behind us there, look. God damn, those little shields these guys have from that curse are actually pretty potent. Like, they're eating so many shots of ours. Ah, god damn it. Curse enemy bloody got me. It's okay, it's okay. We got another shield in return, so I don't care. There's, by the way, there's these little statues here that you can put shields on. I've never actually worked out what they do yet. I'm imagining it's another secret floor thing, but... Oh, hello. What's this? I've never seen this before. Is, I'm guessing this is new. It's just a mirror. Okay, it doesn't seem to do anything right now, so... I'm guessing maybe I need to bring something to the mirror? Or have specific items or something? I don't know. Another shield! This item that spawns more shields is insane. I'm loving it. We're at max HP now, effectively. Obviously not red heart wise, but... Look at this, just firing over the top, that's so good. Oh god, these guys are a pain. Just fire artillery! <laughs> oh my god, I'm having fun with these runs. What's this? Oh wait, we don't we don't want to do that because we've already got um, shields. We we'll definitely want to go for the shop. With this amount of shields, we can trade red heart health all day. Or blue hearts. You know what I mean. <laughs> they are blue hearts in this game, but... Increase your range and make your shots... Makes you shoot an additional shot backwards. That's insanely strong for us, I think. Yes, because they chain. That's really good. Increase your damage but lowers your accuracy. We don't care about accuracy. In fact, lower accuracy is better, so hell yes. This is potent. We've already got... If we can get piercing, we are in for a real crazy build. We're already on a pretty crazy build, but... I'll try and flawless this guy, as I always say I will, but... Don't be convinced at how well I'll do. We're already absolutely wrecking him, though, damage-wise. He's into rage mode already, right? Not bite. Okay, we did, we did well. Oh, we did it, we did it. Finally, flawless from this guy. Nice. Give me that memento. I actually didn't really need the memento because it removed a shield. I'd rather it not have done, to be honest. But I'm going to trade away some red heart containers now, I think. I don't know, maybe for the extra fire rate. 
Maybe I can increase my crit chance even further. Any items you want to get rid of? We're going to get rid of one, sir. I honestly don't think so. You can? Holy hell. Yes. Send it. Send me to the moon. Send me to the moon. 100% crit chance? Are you kidding me? Hell yes. I don't care if I die. I want to see this. We literally just doubled our damage output. If we can get some synergy with this, that'd be crazy. Does it... Does it crit on our electricity chaining as well? I don't actually know. It doesn't, but that's fair. Right. Back up to three hearts anyways. Secret room's there, nice. All the shots coming out of our back as well. This is nuts. <laughs> oh, I love this sort of stuff. This game, it just is like, even though we've not got that many items unlocked, we're still getting these crazy builds. Yet another shield. Makes you immune. Uh, increase walking speed. Um, increase damage, but reduce max HP to one. Hell yes. <laughs> That's so worth it with, with the amount of shields we've got right now. Probably want to upgrade that as well, actually, if we can. Yeah, we are absolutely popping off right now. Unfortunately, a chest is actually worthless to us because we can't afford it. Which is a real shame. This is nuts. This is the most damage I've ever had, I think. Like, flat damage, that is, as well. We can afford something in here, so let's try it out. Unfortunately, nothing great. I'll take that at least. I can't believe the amount of shields we got right now. <laughs> These shields are blocking all my shots. Calm down, boys. Calm yourselves. Taken care of. Beautiful. Not really using my sword all that much, but honestly, do I need to? Wait a minute. I haven't even checked. Does the sword crit? The sword does crit for 66. That's great. Okay, I might need to use the sword a little more. Even more damage. Beautiful. This is why you send it with the riskiness. You just absolutely send it with the riskiness. It pays off. It crazy runs like this. That's another heart for us as well. Got another card here. Thank <laughs> you. They're just insta-dying. It's kind of beautiful. Oh, we found a secret room there. Didn't even realize. Another chest. Beautiful. There's another shield, baby. We unlocked an achievement called Crazy Crates. Now, again, probably won't flawless this guy, despite how strong this run is. But I will try. Dude, look at that. Why did you jump that? Ugh. It pisses me off so much. It just does everything to fuck you over. He just jumped at the worst possible time. And he jumps backwards as well, which is always annoying. We only lost some armor. Oh, God, I'm getting hit a lot, though. We lost two pieces of armor there. Not, not good by any means, but not terrible.
what you got for us here. Right, do we get any new items we want to get rid of? No. We get 10% damage bonus on that. We can get a 10% damage bonus on that. I think we do that first. Yeah, I think that's it, to be honest. 10% damage bonus. Accuracy down is actually good, so I really don't mind that. It's kind of... I should get rid of the laser pointer, to be honest. That's the, that's the thing I should have got rid of, because accuracy down is kind of a good thing. And we've got an accuracy up from that, so... Another card there. Lovely Metro cards. Gotta have them. Secret room here, I see it. Thank you, flashlight. More damage. Beautiful. If I don't know if I will, but if I finish this run in under 30 minutes, I might run another one. On this episode, is what I mean. Damn, that was... I got hit a lot there. I mean, I don't mind, but obviously I don't regenerate shields right now, so unless I'm finding more shields getting hit, it's just like killing my reserve, which isn't great. Alright, what you got for us? Increase damage for a short while after getting hit. Increase damage of your bullets by a lot, but damage decreases the longer the bullet exists. I think that's good. I don't know if that means we have to, like... Oh, damn. Okay. That, this is actually pretty bad. Holy... What the... What the hell's this room? This room's nuts. Okay, this was a terrible idea. I thought it was going to be, like, pretty good. But, like, you have to be really close to the enemy to deal full damage. Like, a lot closer than I was expecting. And we have no way of getting rid of it now. So we're stuck. It's fine. We'll be fine, but... Like, if we can barrel stuff an enemy, hell yeah. We're doing fine. But, like... It seems to have, it seems to have absolutely annihilated our damage at range. I kind of knew it was going to, like, take off a good, a good amount. But the, the drop-off is harsh. Thank you for the double shields. We desperately needed that. We, to be fair, the good thing is we do kind of barrel stuff most enemies and the boss anyways. Especially the boss. There's so many enemies. What the hell? obscene amount of enemies and with like no range I can't get close to them to like insta kill them my lord still got that door there that we don't know how to open faith you gotta have faith It's like, so, I think without the, so, at range, literally at range, we're dealing two damage a hit. Ah, oh, that's pathetic. That's really depressing to see. That's my own fault, that. I thought it wouldn't be quite as harsh of a fall off. But at least now we know. Poison enemies on contact. I'm just going to take the damage. It's unfortunately really hard to efficiently dodge right now because I can't see anything. But yeah, now we can't really do the tactic where we stand at the other side of something and like more of a barrage overhead. Because we're, we're just too far away from the enemy and we'll lose all our damage. Like, it's not like we do terrible damage because like we're still doing electric damage and everything, but. It's a bit of a shame, but like I said though, when we do stand next to the enemy, we pummel them. Absolutely pummel them.
Right, let's just go. Right, we're just gonna have to absolutely barrel stuff this dude. Which first phase, pretty fucking easy. Second phase, I don't think that's gonna work. In fact, I think we can probably tank most of this phase. I mean, I say I think we can. We kind of just are anyways, because I keep getting hit. Use the sword, you doofus. That's something I need to remember. Just spam sword. Yeah, remind me to never take this damage down thing again. Range is already, like, a terrible stat to not have. I think- I don't think we're gonna win. I don't think we're gonna win. I have to stay way too close to this guy. I'm very surprised. Maybe second phase, we'll just play it really slowly. Damage is pathetic. Dude, you can't just teleport onto me, you dick. Okay, to be fair, when we get real up close and personal, we do absolutely annihilate him. So I think we just gotta stay really, really close to him. It's just not all that easy with some of his attacks. I, I should have picked up the item that increases your iframes. There you go, we got him, we got him. That was risky. I very nearly lost that because of that item at the end there, but that was a very fun run. <laughs> The Tesla coil item is just too good. Too good. But he is defeated. We got another note. Out of sheer habit, I repeat my efforts to climb the tower same as before, but my heart is no longer in it. I go through the motions, refusing to engage any others in my journal. In my journey, sorry. Still, the unseen will, um, will behind the curtain forces me to relive my inevitable failure over and over again. Intriguing. Accept my fate. Another secret unlocked. We continue back again. Almost under 30 minutes. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at this just because uh, we're going to end up doing some stuff in the hub world. But there's definitely some chances for double run episodes sometimes, I think. More flower. Two gift. Silver chest. Jar of wisps. What you got for us here? We got silver chest. Gives you two pickups when opened, and glass chest. Um, let's go. Soul torch. Giant room. Then let's go and see if we can get any weapons. I kind of want to try that sniper rifle if I can afford it. I'll come back to you in a sec, dude. There you go, sniper rifle. That's what we're going to use next episode. Seems interesting. Very high range, very low rate of fire, which is kind of what I was expecting. I wonder what the damage is like. A few new unlocks here. What do we want here then? Let's go glass hammer, because that sounds intriguing. And we'll go hot chocolate as well. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, we'll leave that there and we'll uh, we'll jump into the next episode and see what we can get done. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.